All right, Salt Lake City's Open Streets begins today. The city closing part of Main Street so people can walk and enjoy some of the best places downtown. And after a hard year for the bars, restaurants, and shops, businesses are hoping that Open Streets really can bring a crowd. ABC 4's Jason Wynn joining us live. Jason, how's it looking and feeling out there? Emily, the vibe is really starting to pick up. It's after six, so people are getting off, and they're coming right down here on Main Street. Now, they've got it all closed off from 400 South all the way up to South Temple, and they're doing this from Thursday until Saturday, from noon until midnight. And they did a test pilot of the open streets last fall where businesses said they've got about 30% of a revenue increase. So, Salt Lake City is really hoping that will happen here. And joining me right now, this is Matt Crandall. He's part of the uh, Bourbon Group here, and you've got you've got Whiskey Street right there. You've got White Horse right here. Yeah. Tell me about how this is going to jumpstart the economy down here on Main Street. Well, it really brings a good energy and vibe down to downtown Salt Lake, not just Main Street, but all over downtown Salt Lake. It gives us an additional 20 seats along the streets here at White Horse, and. In, uh, probably close to about 18 additional seats here at Whiskey Street, which um, gives us an additional revenue stream throughout the whole summer. Um, it's going to bring a lot of guests down and, and help put some money in our staff's pocket and, and, and recoup some of the losses we had over the last year. Man, I got about 30 seconds here, so tell me what this means to the community. What is, you guys have been here for a while. What's this yeah. really mean? It, it means a lot. We've, we have struggled over the last year, and this gives us an opportunity to rebound and kind of boost the economy and put some money back in the people's pockets. So. All right, well, I'll come back and talk to you for 10 o'clock tonight. Now, I know people are worried about parking, especially Glenn Mills down here. So I do need to tell folks that the city says you can park over at City Creek for two hours, and that's going to be free. But we found that parking is pretty easy all around Main Street. So if you come on down here and enjoy it, you shouldn't have a problem. I'm Jason Wynn, live in Salt Lake City, ABC4 News. Yeah, that parking. All right, thanks so much, Jason. <laughs> Appreciate that.